नमस्कार दिस इज निर्जा एंड यू आर लिस्निंग टू ट्रेवल वर्ल्ड ऑनलाइन न्यूज हाईलाइट ऑफ द डे यूपी इज नाउ अहेड ऑफ गोवा इन टूरिज्म सी एम एल एस ओके इज बिल्ड टू सेट अप जूस सफारीज एंड इको टूरिज्म इन फॉरेस्ट रशिया टू लॉन्च ई वीजा फेसिलिटी फॉर इंडियन पासपोर्ट होल्डर्स इंडिगो टेक्स ऑफ टू शिवमोगा विविध सिडनी इन वाइट सी ओ आई फॉर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर इवेंट प्रोग्राम सेवन एपल होटल प्रताप नगर अपॉइंट जी एम नाउ न्यूज इन डिटेल्स चीफ मिनिस्टर योगी आदित्यनाथ ऑन वेन्सडे ट्वेंटी सिक्स जुलाई सेट दैट उत्तर प्रदेश इज नाउ अहेड ऑफ गोवा विच इज पॉप्युलर फॉर इट्स बीचेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ टूरिस्ट फुटफॉल The CM was speaking at a meeting held to review the arrangements being made to manage the increasing crowd pressure at the Banke Bihari Temple in Vrindavan. The CM also offered prayers at the temple and took cognizance of the issues being faced by the devotees coming to the temple in Vrindavan. Earlier, Goa used to host the maximum number of tourists in the country. However, last year, the coastal state welcomed 80 lakh tourists. In comparison, Kashi alone recorded a footfall of 7 crore devotees. Similarly, 6 crore devotees reached the Braj region last year, showing the rise in inclination towards religious tourism, said Adityanath. During his visit to the twin religious cities of Mathura and Vrindavan, the CM also ordered officials to strengthen traffic management on priority and ensure that there are no bottlenecks on the road leading to the Banke Bihari temple. Lok Sabha on Wednesday, 26th July, passed a bill that seeks to exempt land within 100 kilometers of the country's borders from the purview of conservation laws and permits setting up of zoos, safaris and ecotourism facilities in forest areas. As per the PTI report published in redif.com, the Forest Conservation Amendment Bill 2023 was passed after a brief debate which was responded to by Environment Minister Bhupender Yadav. We have encouraged social forestry, but still people have not taken it up fearing that they will not be able to cut trees grown on private land. India's agroforestry imports are very large, particularly teak and other woods. We have provisions in the bill to promote agroforestry, Yadav said replying to the debate on the bill. He said the bill exempts certain types of land from the provisions of the act such as forest land along a rail line or a public road maintained by the government providing access to a habitation or to a rail and roadside amenity up to a maximum size of 0.10 hectare. Forest land that will also be exempted includes land situated within 100 kilometers along the international borders, line of control, or line of actual control, proposed to be used for construction of strategic linear projects for national importance or security. It also exempts land up to 10 hectares, proposed to be used for constructing security-related infrastructure. or land proposed to be used for constructing defense related projects camp for paramilitary forces or public utility projects as specified by central government not exceeding 5 hectares in a left wing extremism affected area electronic visa e visa will be launched in russia from 1st august 2023 allowing indian nationals to apply for their visa quickly and conveniently The visa would allow entry into the Russian Federation on a guest, business, tourist visit as well as to participate in events. The term for issuing a single entry visa would be no more than 4 calendar days and consular fee would be around $40. This is a great initiative to boost tourism and ensure hassle-free visa for tourists without much documentation. Now, with e-visa and direct Delhi Moscow flights operated by Aeroflot Airlines, Russia is more accessible than ever. The e-visa would be valid for 60 days and will allow travelers to stay in Russia for no more than 16 days, said Prashant Chaudhary, managing director, Salvia Promoters and representative of Russian Union of Travel Industry in India. Russia is one of the most popular countries in the world. With a plethora of cultural as well as naturally rich destinations, it won't be incorrect to call Russia a tourism hub. Places like Moscow, St. Petersburg, Lake Baikal, the frigid Yakutsk, Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky, Sochi, Kiji Island, Kazan and Vladivostok are some of the famous tourist places in Russia. 
The country is also known for its hospitality and cuisine, making it an ideal holiday destination for Indian travelers. Indigo has announced Shivmogga as its 79th domestic destination and 109th overall destination in the 6E network. The airline will operate non-stop daily flights between Bangalore and Shivmogga, starting 31st August 2023. Vinay Malhotra, head of global sales at Indigo, stated, "We are pleased to add Shivmogga to our extensive domestic network." This will be our 6th destination in Karnataka, 79th in India, and will enhance trade, tourism, and mobility across the state and beyond. By introducing air connectivity to Shivmogga, we also aim to provide easy access to neighboring areas while contributing to economic activity and employment opportunities. Direct connectivity to and from Shivmogga will also serve as a gateway to the Malinadu region, renowned for its lush greenery and scenic landscapes, further strengthening the city's tourist appeal. We will continue to uphold our promise of providing on-time, affordable, courteous, and hassle-free travel experience across a wide network, added Malhotra. Shivmogga will be the sixth destination in Karnataka in the 6E network. after bangalore mysore mangaluru huballi and belgavi this direct flight will enhance intrastate accessibility while connecting shivmogga to key domestic and international destinations through bangalore following record breaking attendance in 2023 australia's largest festival vivid sydney is inviting expressions of interest eoi for its 2024 event program In 2023 Vivid Sydney attracted more than 3.8 million attendees who experienced the 300 plus light music ideas and food events of the program From today artists musicians thought leaders and food creators are invited to submit an UI to be part of the 2024 program under the unified creative vision Vivid Sydney humanity Destination NSW CEO Steve Cox said Vivid Sydney presented an extraordinary opportunity for those in the creative sector to showcase their talents to a large and far-reaching audience as part of an event that exemplifies Sydney's standing as the major events capital of the Asia Pacific. Vivid Sydney is a globally recognized event that brings together creativity, innovation and technology through the lens of local and international talent in our spectacular harbour city, Cox said. This is a festival that could not be delivered in any other city in the world in the same way. The unique combination of place and creativity has established Vivid Sydney as an icon in its own right and is a great example of how arts, culture and creative industries can combine to forge unforgettable visitor experiences that attract people to the city time and again. I strongly encourage all artists, musicians, thought leaders and culinary creatives to express their interest to be part of Vivid Sydney 2024. Vivid Sydney Festival director Gil Minervini said the festival pushed the boundaries of artistic expression and captivated audiences with its vibrant displays, immersive performances, thought-provoking conversations and culinary experiences. In 2023, Vivid Sydney saw over 3.8 million people immerse themselves in the festival. The festival's reach also extended far beyond, with more than 649 million people reached through Hush Vivid Sydney on social media. This success underscores the incredible opportunity Vivid Sydney offers to showcase human creativity. With the creative direction of humanity at the core, Vivid Sydney 2024 will explore what makes us human and how we can make a better world. We invite artists and visionaries from around the globe to join us in creating another incredible festival next year. Vivid Sydney 2024 will take place from 24th May to 15th June. Seven Apple Hotel Pratap Nagar has announced the appointment of Manvender Singh Tomar as its new general manager. With over 25 years of outstanding experience in the field, Tomar brings a wealth of knowledge and expertise to lead the hotel toward new heights of success. A seasoned professional with a strong background in client servicing, overall hotel operations management and administration, Tomar has a proven track record of driving business growth, enhancing revenue and profitability and delivering exceptional guest experiences. 
His appointment is a testament to Seven Apple Hotel Pratap Nagar's commitment to providing top-notch services and reinforcing its position as a leader in the hospitality sector. Tomal has demonstrated exceptional proficiency in managing diverse operations, including food and beverage, sales and revenue, cost control, and budgeting. He possesses a strategic mindset and has successfully developed and implemented operational procedures, service standards, and control measures to optimize efficiency and reduce costs. His keen eye for detail ensures that procurement, inventory, and food budgets are meticulously managed to maintain cost control and stock levels. That's all in bulletin. For the latest updates, keep listening to Travel World Online Radio with you always. Kabhi bhi, kahi bhi.